Today's video is a one year update on my Tory Burch Fleming soft convertible shoulder bag. If you're interested in to see how this is held up for a year, please continue to watch. My name is Araceli. Welcome to my channel. Here we go. So first of all, I want to say it has been one of my favorite bags to own. It continues to be luscious and beautiful. And um, I will say maybe there's a smudge, but it's not a smudge smudge. It's more like just the just the, the leather itself the leather kind of smudges or gets marks as it ages and there's no scratch but it looks like a smudge or just an indentation of the leather there that is the only thing i see with the actual leather it has held up beautifully of course it's not brand new let's see the bottom See the bottom has the same. I, I can't tell if these are some kind of scratches or smudges, but there's no tear or anything like that. And there's no like line in the actual leather. It's just like a mark. And I have not cleaned my bag since I've gotten it, other than maybe wiping it with a wipey here and there non-alcohol wipes of course but this is these here are just where it's been in my bag i do keep my bag stuffed but this leather is so soft and pillowy that i think that's why that happens i've inspected the chain i don't see anything on the chain i did inspect this well before the video here let me show you how this is, looks on both sides the only thing that i noticed on the bag when i was inspecting it was the scratches on here and that's from you know using this here and that's kind of discolored oh, oops that's kind of here discolored a little if you can tell but not too much and there's another indentation there there's really nothing wrong with it no tears i'll take the stuffing out to show you this bag here is different from the um cura bag the cura bag has a fabric in interior this one has this other material that's kind of like uh, something that you can just wipe off and i don't think it'll it'll smear or sm or get stained or anything like that uh let's see as you can see everything looks pretty pretty good has held up perfectly i have been very happy with this bag it is one of my very very favorite bags to carry and uh, in my last video of my Kira bag, I did insert a picture of me wearing it. It's the only picture I have where I'm wearing this bag. I'll see if I can go ahead and insert it here for you so you can take another look at how it looks when you're wearing it with different colors. You don't have to match it so, so well. I do want to say that I looked on the website. They do have a very similar color. I almost think it's the same color, but it might be a little darker than this one. And it is in the pine tree color. They have this bag again. It's the bigger one. I know they have a small one. I was a little upset when the small one came out because I would have loved the small one, but um, I didn't. they didn't have the green in the small. And this is my favorite bag, my favorite color. So I wouldn't switch it. I did look at the smaller one and it is a, a few, maybe an inch or two here and there 
but it doesn't, if I remember correctly, I don't think it has three compartments. You have the one, the zipper and the back. And I love that about this bag. I love having compartments. It is one of my favorite things. So there you go, guys. I wanted to give you a one year update. It is held up very well. Tori Birch is one of my favorite designers. I love seeing her clothes and I love seeing her and reading articles about her. So I just, you know, and she's a woman. And I think when you follow women and you support women, we just keep on going up, you know? So there you have it. There's my take on this beautiful Tori Birch Fleming soft convertible shoulder bag in the large size. Let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to answer them for you in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for any future videos. Thanks.